Hello and welcome to this video about the um, TIAC uh, VRDS-10. This is a um, very renowned unit. It, it's, uh, it's almost a legend. Uh, it is a CD player, but it is very often used as transport. And the reason for it is, if you have a look at its uh, digital output, it's almost a perfect square wave. It's as good as, as, as any you know, top quality stuff there. Um, before we go further, I want to show you something. And I've, I've shown that before, but uh, um, people when they buy second-hand units and, and vintage ones like this over 20 years, are always, always concerned about state of the laser. So with Sony, if you have a look in there, it, uh, it gives you a serial number of this KSS-151A and underneath on the bottom it does say 46, 46I. Okay? That what it means that when this was brand new it used to, during operation, it used to consume 46.8 milliwatt amperes of current. And if you look in the manual for VRDS-10 it tells you that if you measure it across the resistor um, uh, 22 ohm resistor which is uh, 407 in this unit um, and divided the, the current by the 22 uh, it will give you the current reading uh, the current um, current consumption and um, then you can judge how well it is used if the um, if the current consumption increases by 10 milliamps it is considered to be end of its useful life and needs to be replaced. So in here we have 1,060, When it warms up a bit, it goes to 1,073. And uh, if you divide that 1,073 by 22 on the calculator, it shows you, let me turn that down, it shows you 48.7 milliamps which means that out of the 10, only 2 milliamps, on the current consumption increased by only 2 milliamps. So basically, 80% of that laser is still good. So it's only used up 20%, and uh, so probably another 8 years of, of normal usage. So, so this thing is, is very in very good condition. Um, what can I tell you that I haven't said before? This is a metal disc there and, and a die cast uh, VRDS thing, a uh, bridge that holds and drives the mechanism. Quality, frictionless, KSS-151A mechanism. The DAX, as you see, they even go to the trouble of um, putting tape on it uh, on some uh, ICs to limit the emissions. These two DAX, uh, TDA 1547, they're called DAC 7s. They are the, the, the units that um, replace the TDA 1541s. Um, a lot of voltage regulators. This particular unit also has a. Um, let me remove those things because they're no longer needed. There, if we've showed. Uh, I can't unhook it. It's unhooked. Um, this unit, as you see, hasn't got a clock here. The clock actually is fitted underneath this special stable clock. You probably won't be able to see it through that hole, but it is there. Let's see if I can zoom it. But trust me on that, I'll probably publish a, a photo of it. So it has a clock modifications for, for greater stability. Um, it did have a, a single dry joint on that board, which caused uh, intermittent operation on audio board and couple of dry joints on the servo board which now have been removed and it all works well. I tested capacitors, always remove half a dozen capacitors at random of different values if any of them is leaky or anything like that or loses capacitors I replace them but there was not a case here so it's very original. Top quality units overall Weakness is the remote controller is a bit scratched and there's some scratches at the back you will see near the outputs probably from over there. This is the remote controller. It's not terrible but it's sort of far from 
far from you. Um, it plays everything, plays CDRs, plays uh, whatever you want and, and reads, you know, discs with errors or, or I'll let you play. So there's nothing further really to add. Top quality unit in, 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 in good condition. I'll, I'll play maybe a couple of those tones. Uh, well, we go, we go uh, eight first, track eight. Smooth drawer operation, as you say. It, um, it normally travels to pieces. You see, that's nice and quite uh, smooth. And 15 is the other piece that's, and that is good as well. So, and as you see, it it, uh, it works extremely well, you know, if you want to skip, it goes just there, and then you can, you know, fast forward nicely, and, you know, it works just brilliant. So, that's all, folks. Um, it's available now on eBay. I, I, I thoroughly recommend it, either as a transport or as a CD player. It really sounds um, very good. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.